We always love Mondays because we, have, we get to hang out with our friend Jolene Ketzenberger, always letting us know what's new around town in the dining scene. And that was, I don't know if you guys could hear, but that was such a nice little intro of music was, from our musical guests, Molly and Doug over there. Thank you, it was Molly just like very Doug. Americana. It was a nice little on-ramp to this segment. There they are. There they are. You're going to hear them in a little bit. Uh, Jolene, good to see you, friend. What's Hi, new? Jolene. Well, it's a beautiful day here, right? I know. Big spread of meat. Could this day get any better? I know. It's right? a Midwest dream. It is. The music? It absolutely just is. Meets. Yes. Mm. Now, if we're looking for what's new on the dining scene, what can you tell us? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, so a new supermarket. Sorry, it's not exactly a restaurant, but there'll be, you know, probably a restaurant there. Yeah. <laughs> but so Neiman Harvest Market is going to be opening in a former Marsh location there okay. on 116th in Carmel. Oh, that's uh, right. We're going to focus on uh, local. Uh, featuring local farmers, local produce, Great. producers. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I, I hear I need to check out the butter churn room. The butter, the butter churn room? Yes, yeah, so that's what I, I'm going to be going there to check out. That's the height of Midwest culture. <laughs> yeah. no, right? It's like ran next to the ranch shack. <laughs> Just <laughs> And then the tenderloin yeah. the tenderloin. shop is over yeah, there. We can, oh, we right, can do just a whole spread. That's fun. Okay, so it's so coming to Carmel. Fun. That's right. coming to Carmel. Um, and then in uh, Westfield. So this is fun. So Becky the Bakester. Oh, I a friend know. of the show. Uh, yes, that's we love exactly her. right. Amazing. So Becky the Bakester, so a popular farmer's market vendor, um, has opened there in Westfield. Um, <laughs> Sweet treats and marshmallow boutique. Good for so, her. A lot of good marshmallow treats in there, and I had some lovely little pies. <laughs> Here's what I love about what we get to do on this show is that we get to elevate people who, you know, we, we've learned a lot that they started over the pandemic maybe as a hobby, maybe yeah, in this real exactly. life, and like it's online or maybe it's just farmer's market, but to see her grow into right. like brick and mortar, right. they, they happened, so cool. That's exactly, what, exactly how yeah. it went. And so it's always nice to see somebody who, who does that. That's and, great. And, there, and it just had their soft open. So, cool. so yeah. Love Good luck, Becky. That. We love you, friends. Yeah, we love you, Becky. That's, that's right. great. Um, and then on the west side, um, so Gookman House Brewing. Oh yeah. Um, yes. Right, but then they also had the, the original little house where they, they started brewing in, and that's just been sort of overflow or special events. Well, now it's going to be the coffee house. Okay. Aww. Yeah. So it, so mornings there's going to be coffee there. We so love that's fun. Das Coffee House. <laughs> coffee House. Yeah. Awesome. I went to school with the twins who opened that up. Oh, did Courtney you? and Abby. Go dogs. Go dogs. Very proud of them. One of my favorite breweries. I love to go there. So now yeah. I will have to stop in for coffee. That's yeah. cool. Good They're for them. amazing. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, speaking of, of stuff to drink, so Chocola, oh, so that is an Indiana, Indianapolis product, originated here in 1944, yeah. huh. um, and it's been available, you know, for a while, and then off and on, and then production problem, anyway, so um, a local restaurant owner has now got the, the Chocola recipe and mm. production, and so with partners, they are ramping up production, and I think it's going to soon be available widespread. Well, that's in April fantastic. that you can just oh, order it. Great. Okay. You can just order yeah. you up some chocola. I don't I don't think I've had a chocola. I haven't either. I oh, we, we my, have to try. Well, it's an Indiana Indianapolis thing. How so. did I not know about this? I know, right? Now see when I was little, yes. it was a sponsor of, of Cowboy Bob cartoon, uh, you know. Of course. He would sing about yes. chocola. Cowboy Bob. <laughs> Cowboy Bob. <laughs> You're not cowboy bomb. This is, this oh, this is way, but this is before you, so I was little. I don't know. That's fun. Oh, so I remember Chocola as a sponsor of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but then, okay, on the east side, we're going back east and west side again. Okay. So the 10th Street Diner, now that has been sold. Okay. But not to worry, it's still going to have its vegan and vegetarian focus. Nice. All right. So that's good. So still there on 10th Street. Oh, that's great. That's on east 10th Street. But then on West 10th Street, yes. another vegan restaurant has opened. So Plantastic Indy All right. has opened. Fun name. On, I know, isn't that cool? On West 10th Street. So that, that's their brick and mortar. They've been delivery and carry out only um, until now. But now they're open for dinner at, uh, you know, on West 10th cool. Street. Cool, 10th oh, that's Street. Great. Yes, keep vegan. Yes. Plant based. Yeah, vegan. All so right. how cool yeah. is that? So, so yeah. plenty of more options. Good so, options for everybody. Yeah. I know. Love options for everybody, yeah. right? You got your meats and you got your vegan food. So. And whatever you want. Sweets, plants. That's right. So you, did, got you, you have everything here, got right? Got your coffee. <laughs> whatever you need. Whatever you need. I got you. Got, I don't know who's got your voice. Cowboy Bob. Hey, cowboy, you remember Cowboy Bob back in the day? With his lasso and the Chocola. The Chocola. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. But I like it. I'm not sure, but I like it too. And if you like Jolene and all her recommendations, we've got the website right yep. there. Thanks, Jolene. Perfect way to follow along with her. Thank we love you, you, Jolene. Thank you so much. Good to see you, friend. Hey, coming up next, we're going to chat with singer songwriter Mark Broussard and give you a chance to win tickets to his show this Friday night at the Vogue. That's right. But first, check out some of the Easter basket alternatives that our friend Janine from the City Moms showed us. Some creative ideas. Take a look.